Hi, I'm Lauren from The Mineral Body and today we're continuing our series on the primary biochemic minerals. Today we're looking at mineral number five, potassium phosphate or califos. Um, like we spoke about with mineral number four, the old word for potassium was callium. So califos, potassium phosphate. Um, this mineral we refer to as the mental mineral. So keyword for this one, mental. So function, mental state. When united with albumin, forms the grey matter of the brain. So, anything to do with the brain, the mental state, mental function, think of this mineral, think of it as a nutrient for the mind. One big thing to keep in mind is that stress depletes this mineral. Stress depletes this mineral, and the lives we live are so far from what our animals evolved to deal with. Um, the fight or flight state that used to indicate either a tiger was running at you or you almost just stepped on a snake, like true reasons to induce adrenaline, fight or flight, survival. That mechanism is being entered in, is being engaged in the body all day long when your boss comes in unexpectedly, when your phone goes off and you thought you handled everything, had everything done for the day, um, all these little things that induce stress in the organism, they're depleting this mineral. Um, there's a, a nice little quote here from Dr. Schusler himself. So, the grey matter of the brain is controlled entirely by the inorganic cell salt potassium phosphate. This salt unites with albumin and by the addition of oxygen creates nerve fluid or the grey matter of the brain. Of course, there are traces of other salts and the other organic matter in nerve tissue, but potassium phosphate is the chief factor and has the power within itself to attract by its own law of affinity all things needed to manufacture this vital tissue. Therefore, when nervous symptoms arise, due to the fact that the nerve tissue has been exhausted from any cause, the potassium, the phosphate of potassium is the only true remedy, because nothing else can possibly supply the deficiency. Let the overworked businessman take it and go home good-tempered. Let, let the weary wife, nerves unstrung from attending to sick children or entertaining company, take it and note how quickly the equilibrium will be restored and calm and reason assert themselves. So this mineral I take daily probably for that exact reason, just to be capable of being civilized at the end of a busy day. You need this mineral to do that. Yep. Okay, so, uh, so it's beneficial for study as well. Um, if you have ever encountered the phenomenon where somebody is describing a concept to you that you've never chewed on before, that you've never heard of before, and it's uniting new levels of understanding and you can almost grasp this topic, but it's there's a literal pain, a discomfort in your head. I believe the Japanese have a word for it. Please let me know what that word is. I need to know that word. But there's a pain, a discomfort when you're trying to grasp something and you don't have the resources to make the neural pathway. There's resistance in the body because this is a resource intensive thing to do, to create a new neural pathway, literally. You're creating a new structure in the brain to be able to cement this new idea and have it be a new understanding. This is resource intensive. So when I am studying, I eat these like candies. Well, controlled. Um, but I'd take three before I sit down to do a study session. If I start to burn out, I'd probably take another three and make sure I'm not deficient on any of the other minerals. Um, I boil your number eight uh, sodium chloride. Make sure you're not low on that. If you're low on that, you won't be able to move minerals. If you're low on magnesium phosphate, you also won't be able to uptake minerals. Check those two. And then this guy. Make learning, make studying easy. Make cementing it to memory doable. Give yourself the resources to store that in memory. Form those new pathways. I'm, yeah, I am where I am because of this. <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah. So this is a very important mineral for inside the cells, particularly for the mitochondria, which is like the energy powerhouse of the cell. So this mineral feeds that, feeds the mitochondria, which in turn generates energy for your cells, which in turn, en masse, generate energy for you. Um, so important for energy production and the coordination and coordinating nerve and muscle function. So because this is a nerve nutrient, we support the nerves to support the communication between muscles and nerve function, between all function in the body. The nerves are the communication system. So if they are running smoothly, then generally functions are also running fairly smoothly, at least the communication of function. So stress and mental exhaustion both deplete this mineral. Found in the brain and nerve cells, in muscle cells, red blood cells, nerve, brain and tissue fluids. So notes on usage, you can take three to five before a hectic day for more resilience. You can repeat it if needed. And so five would be like if it's a particularly high stress occasion. So uh, say you have to do a presentation in front of people and your usual three to soothe the nerves probably won't cut it. This is, you're gonna need five. These nerves are, they're stressed. So five for an occasion like that, a high stress occasion. Um, or say you thought you were babysitting two kids, but when you rock up, there's seven, uh, five <laughs> for days like that. So, and then again, you, if you're still feeling fried, frayed, dose again when you get home so you can be civilized to others. <laughs> the application for this one, any and all mental afflictions, any dysregulation of the mind, the mental state, the emotions, think of this mineral, it's, it's going to be beneficial. Just nourish that system, build up the resources to relax the brain, make the brain happy, nourish the brain. Uh, anxiety, apathy, inability to, inability to generate inner energy, and this mineral gives our cells the ability to generate inner energy, as within, so without, things the things going on inside reflect themselves on the outside. They are what symptoms are. Symptoms are not your enemy. They are the way the body speaks to you and communicates what's going on. Note your symptoms, but don't be mad at them. So circulation, core, again, because this is an energy stimulatory kind of mineral, um, it's quite nourishing to the heart as well. So the circulatory system, this can be beneficial to. Um, it's crying on and off all the time. Again, that's mental dysregulation. For a lack of concentration, for depression, dysmenorrhea. Uh, that's another one, just Google it. Um, fatigue in general, for fear, for hair loss. I've, I can pretty much track how busy or stressful my week is by how much hair is lost by me at this computer. Um, stress induces hair loss. <laughs> um, and if it's stress induced hair loss, it is mineral number five, potassium phosphate to remedy. So halitosis, this is beneficial for, as it has a um, antiseptic quality, this mineral when used in the body as well. For hypertension, for hysteria, for insomnia, muscle atrophy. So the muscles aren't just stiff, they're atrophied, they're beyond stiff, after stiff. For cramps and muscle fatigue, for nervous tension, nervous digestive issues, pessimism, heart palpitations, psychosis, paralysis, stress, suspicion, thoughts are difficult, difficulty thinking, uh, for tiredness in general, for weeping, vitality low, for vertigo as well. Um, one of the other signs of this one is hungry right after eating. So the person who eats a full dinner and then immediately makes toast. <laughs> it's a sign for low on this mineral. Your body's, you're not hungry, you just ate a whole meal. It's a mental thing. Okay, facial tells for this one. Uh, general unwashed appearance, 
So these people could have just gotten out of the shower, just gotten changed or fresh clothes, and there's just a general unwashed kind of appearance to them. The eyes are dull, dull sparkless eyes is the description given, and when you get used to facially diagnosing, this is a very difficult thing to describe, but it's a definite thing. Um, a lack of spark to the eyes. They say the eyes are the windows to the soul, and you can see this depletion of energy, of drive, of will in the eyes of people who are low in this mineral. Um, so the expression is generally fairly blank. There's not much inner energy, not much inner animation. Um, ash grey. Ash grey around the eyes and around the chin. It's a definite like a light coating of ash. When chronic, when really chronic, you get sunken in temples, like the brain resources have been depleted. Um, this is sad, but a really true easy way to see this is visit a zoo, look at the animals there. Unhappy animals kept wrong, you will see this sunken in temples stress, sadness, the mental mineral, um, but really chronic cases, you'll see this in humans too. Um, tells on the tongue, you will see the tongue will be dry, the breath will be foul, um, coating could be a yellow or brownish, um, these are all indications of stress depleted organism, low potassium phosphate. It's potassium phosphate found in large amounts in the tissue fluid of the brain and nerve cells. There's a saying, no, f no thought without phosphor. No thought without phosphorus. And there are no thoughts without potassium phosphate. The saying is very true. The central nervous system, the autonomic nervous system, all of these systems are nourished by this mineral, in particular the gastrointestinal nerves. It also supports all muscle cells and the heart. Within the body, it performs an antiseptic action which helps prevent cell decay. Which is another reason why when an organism is severely stressed, it's much more likely to be susceptible to infections and illness. So other tells for this mineral, noise, exercise, forced movement, and being alone, especially at night, all aggravate. Um, so noises, oh, wince, the, can't deal with loud, abrupt, sharp noises. Um, forced movement, can't deal with any more demands made upon you. Your resources, your energy is already so depleted. Um, and being alone, being alone in the echo chamber, yeah, not good when you're low on your mental resilience. <clears throat> Warmth, eating, rest, and the company of others, suits. So this mineral, an organism that's stressed and depleted, will be soothed and feel greatly relieved just by the company of others. It's, I think that's very interesting. And I'm sure the sharing, the communication, the sharing of burdens would also take pressures off the organism and help them feel like not so much is pressing in on them which would then stop them stressing themselves um, and getting themselves out of that echo chamber, the mind's feedback loop. Um, as humans, it's just in our nature to gravitate towards stimulus. doesn't matter what the stimulus is. Actually, all organisms are like this. All organisms would prefer, for example, maltreatment to nothing. They would prefer abuse to nothing. Um, all organisms would prefer bad interactions to no interactions. Um, the point I'm trying to make is the feedback loops in your mind that upset you and that make you more stressed out, more aggravated, um, picking at that time that person said that thing or the time you didn't do the thing, whatever. Whatever the feedback loop is that's causing negative emotions, the point is it's causing an emotion. Your meat monkey, the person that you are, 
um, the flesh, it likes stimulus. And if it can find a little feedback loop that promotes some stimulus, it'll do it. If you are unconscious, if you're not in control of where your mind's going, what it's doing. Um, and if you allow your mind to just run around with these aggravating little feedback loops, it's causing all of these emotional, hormonal impulses um, every time you touch on that line of thought that causes that emotion. Um, and every time you do that, it also strengthens the pathway, pathway, making it easier for your body to just reinitiate that line of thinking and get that emotional response, which is like, ooh, piece of candy, ooh, piece of candy. <laughs> so it's very important to try and interrupt those feedback loops. Um, over time, you'll be able to do it just through mental control, but before then, company, speaking to other people, that's an awesome way to start interrupting those feedback loops and start gaining control over what stimulus your meat monkey, your flesh is addicted to. And if you start supplying this mineral, your ability to actually functionally control, have the energy, the willpower, generate the will to control the mind will be easier. Your abundance of this mineral, your balance in this mineral, dictates your mental function, your mental ability. Also your physical ability, your ability to expend physical energy as well as mental energy. This is a fairly simple one. Anything mental, potassium phosphate. But in that, there are many areas that it does affect. A very, very important mineral in this day and age. Anyway, if you like that video, let us know in the comments. If you have any questions, just uh, write them up in the comments. Let us know. Thanks. Bye.